Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the 2025 Notarize.com Getting Started Guide or Get Started Guide. I haven't decided yet. But what I've decided to do, my name is Sia Bryant, and I've decided to make a series of videos to help people who are just getting started on the Notarize platform to help them um, kind of gain confidence and to show them the ropes a little bit. Now, here's the deal. Notarize.com did not tell me to do this. Did it not authorize me to do this? So I have to say this in every video. So I do not work for Notarize.com as a W-9 employee. I'm a contractor just like many of you out there. So I wanted to just answer some of the questions that people have asked me and my mentorship groups and generally speaking about kind of, you know, what's, what's up with Notarize? What's kind of what the, what's the lay of the land. So um, in the first few videos, I talked about um, the welcome. And what I want to do now is I want to talk about what you do after you get through the preliminary questions, after you tell them it's being recorded, you get their consent, that sort of thing. The next thing that you should do, especially if you are in the retail and the business queue. Also in the real estate queue, but in the first two queues especially, you want to ask, so what am I notarizing for you today? Okay. And you want to take the answer to that question and kind of decide or determine whether or not the person knows what they're signing. If you don't get an adequate answer to that, you don't have to complete the transaction, okay? Because as a person who has gone to court <laughs> behind the notarization, um, take a look at my video about that, um, I know what it's like to be questioned about did you, how was the person when they signed? Did they seem lucid? Did they seem like they knew that what they were doing? Those types of questions can come up. And when I was cross-examined in court by Perry Mason Jr., um, that's what happened. So you want to take special care to make sure that the person knows what they are signing, okay? So that's the next step. After you do that, after they've given you an adequate response, the step after that, okay, doesn't seem like a step, but it really is. You want to review the document. Take some time to slow down to review that document. Now, I know that... Um, newer notaries, they come up to me and they say, well, what about, you know, what if I don't know what the document is? What if I've never seen this document before? I, I, that's fine. You don't have to have seen the document before. But what I would say, after you can verify that the person knows what they're signing, what I want you to do is say, okay, um, just a few moments. I just need a little bit of time to review the documents. I want to make sure that we do everything properly so it doesn't have to get redone. So one moment, please. Okay. That's how you buy time. Okay. Uh, I think sometimes people are afraid of not looking like they looking like they don't know what they're doing. And also sometimes people are afraid of the silence a little bit because the people are kind of looking at you and waiting but that's okay. You slow that train down and let them know, hey, I just want to take a little bit of time to review the document. Um, just give me a few moments there. If you do that, that helps to alleviate some of the um, angst that sometimes signers might feel. If you tell them, hey, I just need a few moments, usually you're good. They're okay. It's when you're silent and you're reviewing and you don't say anything. They're like, oh, oh am, am I supposed to, am I supposed to sign? Am, am I? That's when sometimes they, they start to ask questions. So remember, you are in charge of the transaction. You're in control. Don't let signers rush you. In fact, because 
we have had so many situations. I've had so many situations where a signer will let you know they're in a time crunch or let you know, okay, well, how long is this going to take? Because I have to go pick up the kids in two minutes, okay? Uh, you just let them know up front, well, you know what? I don't know. We can get, do this in two minutes. If that's a real concern, maybe we need to log off and you can log on a little bit later to, to do this transaction. That's okay, okay? Um, it's okay to let someone know if you have a real valid reason for them to not be able to complete this signing. Now, I'm not saying hang up on every person that comes before you. Like, oh, nope, not, sorry, click. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that you have to use your discernment as to whether or not it's, a, uh, it's time for this transaction to go forward. OK, so you want to take some time to review the document, see if you are um, doing a jurat, see if you're doing um, an acknowledgement, see if there are any witnesses involved. All of those things are things you want to kind of eyeball before you kind of get into the thick of things. Now, there have been times where I've been, especially in the real estate transaction, I try to kind of preview the documents ahead of time while they're saying they're, they're, you know, answering the questions and so forth. And I don't get to finish previewing all of the documents. That's okay. Because I will come back to them and say, hey, all right. So um, I was just taking a look at the documents. But now I'm going to rejoin you back on this first page and we'll walk through this transaction together in real time. Okay, so that is what I wanted to impart for those next two steps. The step was make sure that the person knows what they are, know, that what they're signing, and then also take some time, take your time to review the document. So that's it for this installment question for you. What did I leave out? Is there anything that's new on the scene with Notarize? Because it's been well, five years since I've onboarded, but I talked to a number of notaries who have onboarded recently, and um, they give me kind of the lowdown of what's going on now. But I don't know everyone, so let me know. Do you have any particular questions? Um, do you have any uh, comments? Has anything really trying to change? wholeheartedly since I've gotten on the platform. Um, please let me know. Do you need mentorship? I also do that. Let me know that as well down in the comments. So until next time, and we're almost done with this mock transaction. So thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, until the next installment, thank you and happy signing.